No, it's not real. This is a piece of content that Eric Worre just made up. He put his picture beside Donald Trump. He's posted this on Facebook and on Instagram. I don't know if he's posted it anywhere else in a desperate bid to remain relevant. This is how low multi-level marketing has sunk when they're resorting to these cheap, pathetic attempts at just trying to get their name out there and to get like sell more tickets to their event and maybe a multi-level marketing company might hire his services again he's a multi-level marketing coach he's also been involved in the traders domain and omega pro ponzi scheme if that sounds familiar that's because you've probably watched the three-part documentary made by coffee zilla on that one yeah it's that one he's involved in that one too anyway he's a big scammer and he's made this post and people in multi-level marketing have shared this post all over the place. And then, so if you look in the comments of these, of this post, you have people that are uh, mocking other multi-level marketers that are, Oh, you, you can tell who didn't read the full caption. How stupid are you? And then you have the people that are like self-satisfied and smug, like, well, they really should appoint you. It's so great. And I'm so glad that I read the caption. I mean, the only, there's no point to making this post. It's unimpressive to anybody outside of the weird little bubble echo chamber cult world that is multi-level marketing. He's got to be desperate for business to resort to this. That's all I'm saying. So let's take a look at this post. He says, breaking news, Trump appoints Eric Worre as director of international network marketing strategy. And just like, even before I get into this, this is be something that I was taught to do when I was in multi-level marketing. This is the quality of marketing education that you're going to get from somebody like Eric Worre, a multi-level marketing coach. They think this is fantastic. So what we're taught to do is to take any current event, anything that's going on. So seasonal is an easy one. Seasonal is the low hanging fruit. You've got Thanksgiving. Uh, so Halloween, Thanksgiving, um, Christmas, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, you know, you can go through the seasonal things, but then you have, can have like current events going on. You can have like an election, right? So can you imagine this would be, I wouldn't be surprised if I see uh, across social media, people emulating this behavior in different other, in different multi-level uh, multi marketing companies, posting a picture of, you know, Trump and then themselves being like, President Trump appoints this thinking it's like this big joke. You only see this nonsense happening in multi-level marketing. It's so distasteful. You're not impressing anybody with this only, but his audience isn't like selling to people outside of multi-level marketing. His audience are to the already brainwashed. They're already in at least one multi-level marketing company. Maybe they've moved from one MLM to another MLM to another MLM. And then they realize, oh, I need to continually do personal development. I am unable to grow my network marketing business. I am not one of the less than a fraction of a 1% because I have yet to admit that I'm in a pyramid scheme. Therefore, there must be something wrong with my mindset. I must get the services of an incredible internationally renowned multi-level marketing coach who better than to hire or to attend an event than Eric Worre himself. And this is the marketing that he's using. So back to the caption, I am deeply honored to accept this position from president elect Donald Trump. I've long believed that network marketing while not perfect is a better way for the average person to build a business from home. I will fight against regulator overreach and fake media cheap shots against this great profession. The fucking irony, fake media says the guy that's put his fucking face next to Donald Trump <laughs> saying that he's been appointed. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. All right. Uh, and I appreciate the president elect for his full support in this important effort together. We'll make network marketing great again here in the U S and around the world. God bless you. And God bless America us or God. What does that mean? Or is God, is this, does he mean God bless America U S what is it? This is a joke of course, but it would be nice. Wouldn't it? That's his post. So, you know, when you're making, um, for example, atypical and unsubstantiated earnings claims with a multi-level marketing company, it's insufficient to just have in brackets at the end, well, this is just a joke. You know, this, this product didn't really grow my hair 17 inches in 14 days. 
I didn't really lose six pounds in eight days on these incredible bioactive precision peptides. You can't make these claims and then just like have in brackets at the end, this is, oh, this is just a joke. And now you could be saying, oh, you know, Julie, you're being really nitpicky here. He's not in multi-level marketing. I know he's not being in multi-level marketing, but he's modeling the same behavior that he coaches people on. So people will look up to him in multi-level marketing and think, this is how I need to run my business. Look at how amazing, look how many shares and how many people have commented on this piece of content. How can I use this behavior, model this behavior, and apply this to my own network marketing business? And how can I create content like this too? This is irresponsible. And it's just so fucking dumb. So I made a piece of content on this on Instagram. Predictably, I was just waiting. I knew there's going to be somebody that would, that like is just um, so far up Eric Warre's ass that they'd like come after me, you know, and I was just kind of waiting because I like I hashtagged Eric Warren, right? <laughs> it didn't disappoint. It happened right away. Now I've made I've changed my settings. So the only people who can leave comments on my content on Instagram have to follow me. Shout out to Aaron Bees for teaching me that trick. That was a good piece of advice. It, it kind of like we filters out the nonsense, you know, on its own just from that. But somebody so this person had to follow me. So of course they're like, are you a multi-billionaire? Then you can't even ask. So then I thought, you know what? I've been waiting for this. So then this is the response that I gave to them. Who the fuck are you now? So you clearly don't know who I am. My name is Julie Anderson and I'm the CEO of High Altitude Potatoes. I'm actually the first Southern Albertan billionaire, multi-billionaire in Canada. I'm a Canadian citizen. I'm not an American citizen. So what I'm providing commentary on is the fake manufactured news release. It's not real news. For Christ's sakes, this isn't commentary on your political views. This is commentary on a man who is a scammer, Eric Warre, in a desperate bid to remain relevant, photoshops a picture of who is going to be your president, Donald Trump, with himself, with this ridiculous headline, like he hasn't been appointed. It's made up. He's done this to drive uh, people to attend his GoPro events. It's desperate. You'd be much better off buying a ticket to my new high altitude potato event, which is going to be called Hap No, Go For No. I was actually the originator of Go For No. So my tickets are only $69.99 and that's Canadian. You'll actually save money. And no, I'm not a multi-billionaire. And no, I'm not a CEO of High Altitude Potatoes. Or am I? That High Altitude Potatoes, you might uh, be familiar with this. I've used this since I began speaking out. I started speaking out against multi-level marketing companies on TikTok. And I use that just as a funny example that you can apply to any multi-level marketing company. Talk about High Altitude Potatoes as the product and the incredible business opportunity. It's like always Marco did a great interview with Douglas Brooks. And Douglas Brooks described multi-level marketing companies as a compensation plan in search of a product. The product is irrelevant. You can just substitute products in. So just substitute high altitude potatoes in. So I wanted to kind of like take the piss out of that person that was, you know, getting all, all affronted. Like, are you a multi-billionaire? I'm like, Eric Worre has made a fake piece news article. Like, it's just such a stupid piece of content. He's positioned his picture beside Donald Trump and you're asking me if I'm a multi-billionaire, you know, you can't make this shit up just to let you know, it's not true. This is his attempt at trying to be like really cheeky and satirical, it, but it didn't even end there. And of course, being the clear marketing genius that he is, then Eric Worre follows up this post with this story. Thank you very much to the person for sending me this. So obviously, ladies and gentlemen, I am not the director of international network marketing strategy for the Trump administration. <laughs> I'm like, is he drunk? I just, I mean, look at this. What the fuck is the matter with him? And I'm like, I don't know if he's driving or if somebody else is driving, but I'm like, can you just do this somewhere else while you're not driving? It's like, such a weird thing to be commenting on you know it's like obviously it's it's not obvious you purposefully made this post that was deceiving and it's sad that people believed it but it's your own fault i mean like just own it you know instead of mocking the people who trust you who know like and trust you so much that they will believe even anything as preposterous 
as this ridiculous piece of content that you crafted. Oh, I know. Instead of just saying, yeah, I can see how maybe you could have um, misunderstood that because it's very eye catching and this whole election going on in the US has been so like emotionally volatile. I could see how maybe you have done that. No, 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 because I am like such a scamming asshole. I'm going to mock the people that I'm trying to get to buy GoPro tickets to tickets to his own event. You know, like this is just so absurd. I'm showing more compassion to the people who are involved in multi-level marketing than the people who would like call me a hater, a demon vibrating at a low frequency. I'm the real scammer instead of the person like this. It's just, it's so gross. But I did find it very humorous, even though I made it clear in the comments. You didn't make it clear in the comments. You didn't make it clear at all. You had it in brackets at the very end. And if anybody followed this template of behavior for making atypical and unsubstantiated earnings claims or health claims, they would get slapped from the FTC or maybe they'd even get, they might even get uh, let go from their multi-level marketing company. So you didn't make it clear. And it's just weird to see him like trying to blame his own inadequacy and ineptitude at trying to remain relevant on his audience. This is nuts. This is why multi-level marketing is going the way of the dinosaur. And in the post that it was a parody, how many people took it seriously? <laughs> Yeah, just laugh at your audience. It's so funny. Aren't they so fucking stupid? They're probably so dumb. They'll probably buy tickets to your event. And maybe they'll be so stupid to buy you, a, like to hire you as a coach too. Just keep laughing at them. We live in strange times, but it would be nice. I is he drunk? What the fuck is going on? Look at him. He's good at it, don't you think? There you have it. Trump didn't appoint Eric Worre to do anything. Eric Worre can't make any piece of content if his life depended on it. And if you're involved in multi-level marketing, I encourage you to keep asking questions, keep critically thinking, do yourself a favor and look up what the cost caught pyramid scheme test is if you're in the United States. And if you're in Canada, look up section 55.1 of Canada's Competition Act and see how they talk what the scheme of pyramid selling is. So there you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.